Hi, I'm Bob Dulamartre. In today's key concept video, we're going to be looking at the law of large numbers. Bigger is better! Bigger is better! Well, that may not be true with everything in this world, but it most certainly is true when it comes to the size of the database that you're using to predict future losses. It's all about the law of large numbers. Simply put, the law of large numbers is a mathematical principle stating that as the number of similar exposure units increases, the more accurate your predictions about future losses will be. Let's consider an example. Now, assuming for the moment that you have a perfectly weighted coin, got one right here, 1896 silver dollar and honest tosses your theoretical chances of getting heads from a coin toss is 50 percent so that being the case how many times are you going to get heads if you flip a coin 10 times how many times well the answer is who knows who knows your sample number is just too small to be accurate. So, eh, tails that time. Eh, tails again. Eh, here we go to heads. I mean, you know, who knows? You know, with a small sample like 10 tosses, you know, you just don't know what your results are going to be. You may get any number between 0 and 10. For instance, you may get 10, uh, you may try 10 times and get heads 30% of the time, three times. That's what you call your empirical frequency. What you actually get is your empirical frequency. And of course, in this example, it's very inaccurate. Well, instead of flipping a coin a mere 10 times, what if we flip it 1,000 times or 10,000 times? The larger the number of empirical information that we have in our database, the more accurate will be our results. Any inaccuracy, any inaccuracy between the empirical frequency and the theoretical probability will decline as the sample size increases as it gets larger and larger. This is why insurance works. We take a large number of similar exposures, such as single-family dwellings, for instance, and calculate our rates for individual homes based on the results of the group as a whole. Now, of course, this can only work if the past experience is substantially identical and has resulted from unchanging causalities and the future experience can be expected to occur under the same unchanging conditions and the experience has been and will continue to be both independent independent of one another and sufficiently numerous of those three things but if we have that it works the law of large numbers, our key concept for today. Thanks very much. I'm Bob Dulamartre.